Welcome back to Let's Play VO Search for Eden. We are a dinosaur. Hurrah. Uh, there's a slight issue in the top corner. I started with some EVO points. I was fooling around and going back would have me go through the whole game. So we just, we just have a tiny head start. It's fine. This is the most grind heavy chapter. So I'm still going to show you what strategies you should do and what order you should get stuff in. But this is the first stage. You didn't miss anything. It's all sandy. I'm a weird weird looking dinosaur and there's our tutorial crystal by the way uh jumping up on these uh holding up helps because it like selects that platform and pressing down you can go down each little level but first nom me i'm smiling i'm so good evo tip you can evolve in various ways in this chapter era sorry <laughs> if you choose two legs you'll be able to jump higher if you choose to have four legs You'll have stronger defense, and your ability to jump will be limited, so be careful when choosing. Uh, yeah, this goes over the very basic gimmick of this chapter, or era. Uh, if you go here, pretty much everything that's the most expensive, once again, is the best. Uh, best jaw is really expensive. There's no real difference. Uh, the neck, you can either have a short or a long neck. There are some disadvantages and advantages to both. I'll go over that. Uh, back of the head, the tri-tops and the horn helmet have slight differences, but the big difference... The body. If you see down here, transform to two legs. I'm already on four legs, so I can't select the four. Uh, there's basically, uh, two modes. There's two legs kind of slunched over, and then there's two legs standing up really tall, kind of like a human. I I don't think any dinosaurs ever look like that. But whatever. <laughs> Ooh, nighttime. Uh, there are, uh, like it said, the, as you get two legs, your jilly goes up. And the middle two leg is sort of in the middle between defense, sort of. And then the, the bigger one, you have more jilly, less defense. But we're going to stay four-legged. Uh, unlike the amphibian chapter where I said, you know, defense isn't really worth it because, uh, you know, you need that extra agility and you don't really get that much. Defense is totally worth it in this chapter. Going back to the armor selection, you see the this one, the Pronosaurus and the Nautilion? Those are only selectable when you have, you're on four legs. Uh, on two legs, you can only get the armored body. These give so much defense, they outweigh the agility issue. And, to top it off, yeah, you're gonna be slow, but you can decrease your body size and get a lot of that agility back with minimal issues. So, this is gonna be a fun chapter because we're gonna turn into, like, an angry demon turtle. It'll be fun. But, oop. Oh, interrupted me. Ooh, whispering. It's Evio ASMR. Welcome. Whisper. Of challenge mode brave. Okay, I'm not gonna do this. I can't do ASMR. Only a reptile with true bravery may be legible to build a new age. I believe Mount Brave is good target to overcome. This will help us choose the chosen one. I have an ominous, f I, or I feel an ominous hunch. Ah, uh, so there. This is a very big chapter, and that was a tiny hint. If we leave here and show the map, the map's pretty big. It's bigger than all the others. Oh, you go all over this map. And, ooh, there are actually two forms that you can get in this chapter. Mount Brave is that huge uh, spire sort of in the middle right with the clouds on it. But yeah, first we gotta start off at a dinosaur and have some fun here. Uh, you can either go north or south. North I'll show later, you fight a bunch of frogs. They're really hard in your position right now, they just, they're annoying. And you can't really kill them easily. But if you go down here first, you'll fight some pretty simple guys. Now, everything- actually, I forgot to show my capability. Everything I do is pretty much one damage except strength. Ooh, yeah, they give- they give 12. Err, uh. Ooh, flashy mate, I will take that, sir. Hmm, a 70. Boink. Oops, I pressed the wrong jump button. Yeah, these- these guys are pretty simple. Bye. Yeah, we'll start evolving here. Uh, actually, you could grind your butt up for these jaws, but <sighs> there is a really good grind spot later on. I might get uh, these jaws, like, it's not that much of an increase with some of these. It's kind of sad. 
I sometimes get these, the fantasy jaws. They're hilarious. I might actually get them. But we need some agility right now. There is a boss that you have to face, but we're actually going to be using the green crystal and try to have some fun with it. But it's tough. I hate this boss coming up. I hate, like, every boss. Uh, hmm. Oh, there's a difference between these two tails. There's a Nod Alliance tail and a... Not a lion's tail makes you really slow and gives you a bunch of defense. Unlike the armor that I mentioned, it is not worth it. So we're going to get the Pronosaurus, which is basically a little Ankylosaurus tail. Shippity shoop. And, uh. Yeah, well, what did that do? That gave us more strength, more defense, 2 HP. Ooh. And. Yeah. Let's move. <laughs> There's a very good grinding spot in this uh, chapter, though. It is amazing. You will see what I mean later. But let's move on. This is going to be a lot of grinding, so this episode might get a little boring. Uh-oh. Hey, you! Don't get involved with the crystal. It causes creatures to evolve in strange ways. We don't depend on it. We evolve in the right way with steady effort. But yeah, like you're aware of that. Look at my excellent headbutt. <laughs> yeah, these guys just sort of headbutt each other. Uh, we already have a green crystal as we have the review, so we're gonna leave this green crystal here and show these guys our head, but uh, I think they have 3 HP, but yeah, watch, they will, if they turn and see you, they, oh, they will do that and fling themselves at you. And it can get annoying, yeah, but yeah, like that, you don't want to get stuck in the middle. Yeah. I have never figured out what, okay, hold on, gotta kill this guy. What are those? They're like... Crabs, like, they got little googly-eyed hermit crabs. I don't know. Yeah, this is, this is, uh, the stuff gets a little more difficult now, because you gotta, it's, they're stuff, you know, they're dinosaurs. Ah. I'm using my strength to chapter, as you can see. Bring it. Er. Oh god, ah! Jeez. Let's get out of this chapter, man. Or this, uh, stage. No! Ha! Tricked you. Ooh, my jump turned to two. Cool. Ooh, 80. Let's, uh... They're sleeping now, so let's, uh... Let's do what any good predator would do. It's funny, you can't become, uh... Like, a leaf eater. Tree stars! Petri! Ah, uh, but yeah, you can't just eat plants. You have to consume the essence of other creatures. It's like the Zerg. We are the Zerg. Er... Ow, oh, for the love of get out of my way. Fine. Er. Shmayash. Alright. We're gonna get the Stegosaurus Dulcifer. We're gonna look pretty stegosaurus -y. That gave us 5 HP. Two more strength. One more defensive power. And we can jump a little higher. Hurrah. We look weird. Don't worry. We're gonna look really weird. Alright. Alright. Here comes the first plot point of this chapter. Ooh, the main of the. Okay, you did. I, you all saw it. My child is missing, so I'm very angry. Please go away, or I'll become angry with you as well. Uh, I don't know if this is male or female, but whatever. Uh, trick with this guy. Don't run. Don't jump. Just walk. I'll show you what happens if you. Uh, here's what happens when you. Uh, well, you can run. But watch, if you jump over him, you accidentally hit him, and he- oh, he hurts. You can't kill him either, and he just- if you just started out, like, there's no way to run away from him. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, yours. Alright. But yeah, just- just walk past him, don't attack. Um, I think he- you can kill him, but he has, like, whatever the highest bit number is of HP. Or his HP resets every time you hit him. I can't remember, just don't try and kill him. So yeah, he's missing his child- don't kill him. Don't touch him. Now we get in the more dinosaur place. The Brontosaurus. Broosaurus. Brosasaurus. Ah, uh, these guys are fun. This is sort of the first little grinding area. Uh, watch what happens when you hit these guys. Nothing. I'm just eating. Uh, you can hit these guys a total of three times. On the third time... Oh, they get mad. Oh, watch what... Oh, okay. And they, But, but, they give you 80. Uh, so hold up. I'll show you what happens, because I kind of killed it really quick. 
they basically run at you and swing their necks. It knocks you back, so they can't pin you like other monsters, but it still does a lot. And like I said, I have three defense points, so that does ten damage. But yeah, this is the first grinding area if you want to get a nice amount going here. Ah, the I forgot the run. But yeah, interesting AI. These are just big dinosaurs that don't care. What are we going for now? We might actually go for those packy jaws. You're gonna laugh at these. I remember these looking ridiculous. Uh, the jaws, yeah, they follow... We'll show all these in the bonus, and I'll show all the two-legged stuff, too, for in the bonus, but... You can see some of these are bird jaws. I think starting with Pitosaurus, they're all bird jaws. Because later, guess what happens, yeah. Oh, yeah, they sleep, but the same thing happens. Whoop. They just don't eat. I guess they're chewing cud in their sleep. Ow! Mate, watch it. Alright, we'll get these jaws. I like these better because they look- they do more damage than the other ones. I think they do seven. How much damage do these do? Oh, just three? Oh, I feel silly. Oh, whatever. We have some- we need some biting power for later, trust me. Uh, this boss we gotta run into, which I'll probably end the ep on, ain't fun. We're gonna try. There will be attempts to kill this boss. Attempts to kill this boss. Oh. I'll describe her once we uh, get there. Oh, these guys suck. Do these guys talk to me? No. Uh, I'll show you what they do as soon as I heal up here. Man, I look evil. I don't know what's up with my eye. It's like going past my face. Okay, so. They eat calmly, but as soon as they see you... Or maybe not. Hello, sir. Maybe you could just walk past them? <gasps> nope. Uh, so yeah, if you attack them, they'll breathe, uh, and they'll boop, and that's consecutive damage. You can see I can't avoid that. I have no idea why these guys are attacking like that. Um, there is a scientific theory that their little, uh, horns were an extension of their nostrils. That's, uh, sort of the scientist- scientific consensus- consensus- ah, words. Uh, but- I don't think they could do it, like, it's sure they could do, like, great calls and reverberate it, but I don't think it would, you know, like, stun and hurt other dinosaurs. <sighs> Sorry, I just- this chapter's so hard. I guess we can save up for better jaws. We'll go for... Maybe those jaws? We gotta save up for something, this boss. Uh, you know what, we're just gonna- we're gonna try and cheese this boss. If it don't work, we'll use the amphibian. And if it doesn't work, I'll come back and I'll beat it the real way with grinding. Stegosaurus. Uh, these guys suck. Uh, they- first of all, I look like them if I was a character. Uh, they- you see that? They go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. That prevents you from jumping on them, or jumping over them. Ah! Okay, I have good jump. They swing their tails, which hurt a lot. I might even- eh, I'll kill one. Yeah. Oof. See, I just got hit in the face. Ah! They don't do anything in the front, though. Just watch the tail. <laughs> Duh. Watch the tail. If you get kicked into the whelps, it's a 50 DKP minus- Alright, here's the first boss. Mm, I hate this boss. Alright, let me just explain what's gonna happen here. This boss- well, first, let's go to the scene. <sighs> da -da -da. Oh, it's the baby! Oh, no. <gasps> Prime Frog A. You do not like slime? What an insolent stegosaurus. I, something child. I can't pronounce these scientific words. Stop it. I don't like it. Ah, reptiles are coming. Run. Help me. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. So these are just regular frogs. These are the frogs you run into up there, but, like I said, they have way more agility. Uh, and when you start off, you're slow. You're very slow. But yeah, go through this, and you have to go to the stage again and face the boss. I'm gonna explain this boss. So, it is a giant frog, and I mean a frog larger than probably the largest dinosaur in this chapter, which is amazing. It's like a horror movie frog. 
And it jumps like crazy, and it spawns babies. You basically have to run around, hope to pin it, bite it, and make sure the babies don't swarm you. And it jumps- it's- the stage is huge. It jumps all over- look at this thing, it's the size of me! How is a frog that big? What? Ribbit. Ribbit. Ominous ribbit. It's like Flop Flop from, uh, Live Alive, if you've ever played that- oh, she's that stupid fish. Mother of all the prime frogs. She's the primiest of frogs. Is it you who's scared of my children? You captured a kid and was probably going to kill it. All I did was- okay, I did eat them. But you- you'll see. She spawns kids all the time. She does- she's like a freaking queen bee. Well, you must know. We are the prime frog family. Even reptiles fear us. Was there ever a point in history where frogs became, like, almost as big or almost as, like, predatorily, you know, on top of the food chain as dinosaurs, whatever. <sighs> I will teach you a lesson. Attack, my children! Attack! Alright. Yup. Okay, I hit her. She jumps away. We'll wait till she- No, we're gonna do it now. Evolve. I could turn into a super thing from this chapter, but I'm ch showing how this works, uh, slowly. You wouldn't have this there. Super amphibian. This is the ultimate amphibian that you'd have. Look at that little baby frog down there. It looks like it has seen some shoot, man. Oop. Yep, ultimate amphibian. And we're gonna chase after her. Urgh. And do damage, basically. Just run back and forth. No! Urgh. Bite her! Yes. Ah. See how hard this would be without doing a ton of damage? Yes. Okay, well the horn broke, that's fine. Let me kill some of these babies. We've done a decent amount of damage to her, so even if... Oh, these babies. Good. Ah, eat. And she jumps all around and... I'm trying to kill some- Yes, okay, we got her. So that's how you cheap her. You just kind of... Oop, Chris Power doesn't work yet. Alright, goodbye, Spyro the Dragon OC, do not steal. Yay, we did it! And now we're Creepy Dinosaur Man again. And with this... We shall move on to the next part, because I am out of time. But yes, we'll use these evil points and I can finally go to the next grinding spot. So yeah, see you then. That is- that boss is so annoying, I'm glad I could show that off. That's how you cheese it. But yeah, see you next time on Let's Play EVO.